Hi everybody, it's Leah. I am back with another video. Uh, it's been a little while, um, but I've been very busy. Um, this summer has been crazy hectic, trying to work out stuff with photography school, etc. Cetera, et cetera. You need to know, don't need to know my personal blah blah. You just want to see books. So, um, so this is one that I made. It's a commission for a coworker. Um, her friend's birthday was coming, and she wanted like a, a recipe book. Uh, place to put drinks but also to put pictures of their summer activities so I decided to do this it is a uh, it is Jesse summer drinks and dishes so <laughs> my husband um, and I found a font we liked on the internet and um, printed this up from scratch oh the paper the paper is pebbles lakeside Yes, I don't have the papers away. I'm sorry, guys. This is the middle of the night, as usual. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. So, all of the paper is Pebbles Lakeside. So, um, we mounted that on uh, some of the papers from the collection. You're going to see the really cute papers. Um, this, the ampersand is done on um, craft cardstock. And the paper from the collection is one of the florals. Um, the stickers here are thickers. Um, and I use the paper on the binding. I use a reclaim book. You can see the binding here. I did. I covered it. I used some washi tape. I have to put my logo on it before I go to sleep. Just remember. Um, yeah, so let's get into the book. So on the inside, I um, did the cover with um, some of the, uh, there was like a map. I'll take this off. Um, I did, it's a, uh, a map. It says Lakeside Trails, and then, um, can you see? Yeah, that's that's nice and focus. I hope. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so exhausted. Um, yeah, so it was a map. I cut the map in two parts, and it's the front and the back cover. I made these little books um, uh, from, uh, it was a fabric that was on the internet. My husband and I took, and we, um, we uh, changed the color of the background. This one's for dips and dressings, and you open it up, and it's just... It's just plain inside, just you can write down dips and dressings. Um, yeah, these, clip, these clips are like, you know, little, those little clips you get. Um, where did I get these ones? I got them at Target. You can get them, um, they're pretty cheap. I think I paid four bucks for a whole pa pack of like a hundred of them. Um, you can also get them at Walmart. They're really cute. I love the color, that chrome color. I want to get some in like a, um, patterns and also maybe some brass ones would be nice too. Um, here I had some chipboard letters that I had gotten in the $1.50 bin at Michael's, but they were like on clearance, so I think I got them for like 50 cents. Um, yeah, and I just wrote glamp, and it says under the stars. I like the idea of glamping. So, oh, this book is a um, envelope mini album. I swear I can do other ones, I just haven't. <laughs> but this is an envelope mini album in the Kathy Order style. So there's three signatures, one, two, three, and each one has a theme page. So like this one is the is um, trees, the next one is this, uh, these... Um, Celestial, <laughs> it'll come to me. Oh my gosh, it'll come to me. And then you guys know what they are. And then uh, the other one is canoes, and all the inside. The the second page is like a, a pattern, either polka dots or a stripe or a plaid. And then the um, next page is a floral. So yeah, so I made a lot of inserts to go in it. Um, these were from my. Uh, stash. What did I get these? These are smashbook pads. Different ones. This one says uh, foods to remember, most memorable, people who were there. Just all to, like travel, trip, and food stuff I thought would be really fun. I cut this out of the, there was a page that uh, in the paper that was all chalkboard words and stuff. So I um, I cut those out and these also you'll see more. And it says summer fun. And then I made these you can fit four by six pictures or write some recipes or notes. They're just plain on the back, but I put this so they match, so all this matches. Um, did a little cut out there. This is all fussy cut. This was cut in one piece, and then the bottom little strip was fussy cut and glued on there. So each one has, oh yeah, one that goes sideways and one that's straight up and down. And then in the top, I stamped a long one, just so it's this nature hike, this little deer. So each one matches like the theme of what this is. So this is like hiking trail stuff. So this that's this one, and the next one has a theme that matches it. Yeah, it was a lot of fun to do. I really was happy to make this use this paper. It's really super cute. 
oh yeah, and then each of these is a pull out and it's a card and this one's a sangria so it's all and I wrote I put a little notepad but she can write down sangria recipes staple page in there if she wants or a couple of pages and this comes out and she could put another little thing there I thought that would be fun oh wait let me make sure I got that on straight sorry <laughs> I just took some uh paper from an old journal it's got little dots and then I just glued a little strip of uh was the edge that's at the top of the page and you tear the page from the the book yeah, so this one's sangrias, and I use these little enamel dots from, Reco I think the Recollections, um, lost and found Christmas decoration stuff that I had laying around. Oh, and each of the little cards at the top has one of them. All the colors match the same way, so. Yeah, oh, and postcards. There's postcards. The collection, um, the collection came with postcards. So I took each postcard that was in, I cut the, I cut all them all out, and then I cut, there was a whole page full of these little, like, things here, these little camp signs and road signs, and then I took a, I had a bunch of stamps, I stamped them all so they looked used, so I thought that would be cute. So, let's get these back together. Okay. That text in there. So each one has the postcard, these things, these two cards, this, and then the card that pulls out with the with the drink recipes. So they're all like that. And each page is different. This one, just more postcards there. And here I did, I built this pocket out of uh, the cutouts from the paper. Um, I just cut them all apart, fussy cut each of them, and then glued them together. More of these little things. Oh, here, so you can see the paper better. So you can see here there was a strip there that I cut apart. And here's the page. The whole, it was a whole 12 by 12 page of just this. A huge 12 by 12. And I cut some a little bit apart there just to get that same thing. So it was like a piece and then cut apart. I like things to be, you know, symmetrical. I got a weird symmetry thing. <laughs> but, you know, everybody's got their thing, right? Makes their stuff theirs. Um, yep. And a little card in the top. This one has a stamp. Oh, yeah, I found a whole package of stamps that went really well with this. This one's a compass. Uh, it says, uh... The Great Outdoors, and the next page is uh, another floral, which is really pretty, and this one's beer drinks, so she can make a list of all the beer drinks. Um, the last here's some more postcards, two more postcards. I love the canoe paper, too. It was really cute. I had a feeling my friend was going to like this paper, and she was like, something vintage -y, but like she likes to go camping, and I was like, I have camping paper, and she's like, I don't know, and I brought it, and she's like, I love that camping paper! So <laughs> that worked out really good. Um, there was a whole page of just banners. So I cut some out. I actually made a little banner so that you could lift it up and put the picture underneath there. Or whatever you want to put underneath there. More of these little things. And this one. You could see these. And I did. I glued these down so it looked like they were just like could be detached. Let's try to keep things, you know. Symmetrical. And this one had, there was a canoe stamp. I loved it. Kayaking or kayak, whatever. I'm sorry, kayak canoe. It's made its mouth. I people who kayak would not say it's made its mouth, but <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I'm trying to keep trying to keep a lot of white light in the hitting the books because I find my my videos haven't been the colors haven't been good, so I feel like the white light is helping a little bit. I love this floral paper, <gasps> so pretty. Totally made me fall in love with the whole collection. So I pulled a lot of these colors when I did that little um thing in the front. I wanted the whole cover to have that that look of that paper. It's so pretty. This one's mixed drinks. And that's it. Oh, and then I did another book. It's a... Uh, can I get it? Uh, rubs and sauces. I love these. These these I got in the... These letters are not thickers. These I got in the dollar section at Target. I love... Every time I go to Target, I check to see what new... And these were dollar stickers too. They were dollar fifty. I think. No, no, no. They were dollar. Each of them was a dollar. And they're, they're so cute. And these ones were cardboard and they're printed with little dots and they stick so I didn't have to do very much you know I didn't have to glue anything I liked it um some old washi tape that I had laying around and then as you can see here's this uh, so the other part of that picture is the summer lake so that's pretty much everything um the whole book the whole kit and caboodle oh okay whoops <laughs> lost that yes that was it it was fun to make it took me a couple of days I really enjoyed the paper a lot I was so happy I finally got to use it because I love love loved it and I think guys I think I'm becoming a cutesy person 
I, I didn't start out that way. I liked distressing and doing vintagey things, but I, I liked doing a book where I didn't do a lot of that. I'm, and these papers are so pretty, so cute. Um, and it's been fun to really, again, mix um, mediums, do the stickers, do the, you know, the cutouts, do this. I mean, it's so much fun. So um, I'm really loving working with the computer and doing these books, and it's been a lot of fun. So it would be definitely great to hear some comments, see if you guys liked it or not. Um, yeah, that's it, and hopefully I will have another one for you very soon because I think in 16 days we're about to have another niece or nephew. Niece? Yes, niece. So I'm making a book, and it's going to be super if I ever get it done, but the paper that I bought is so cute. But yeah, so that was it. This was, um, again, uh, Pebbles Lakeside paper. Um, if you can snatch it up because I got it on clearance but if you can snatch up if you still find it around um, I would get it because it's super pretty paper and um, if you like to camp and do things like that I think it's just a great way to document your memories so thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again I'll hear from you soon thanks bye